What's up everyone? Welcome to something a little different today. We are not at a permanent amusement park. It's a park that's only open twice a year. You can see classic coaster behind us. That's because we're here at the Washington State Fair, just south of Seattle. This is gonna be really, really cool. This is yeah. one of the largest fairs in the country. Yes, and I know that I've heard a lot of good things about classic coaster being a really good wooden roller coaster. So. Yeah. And it's kind of like a rare one to get. Because it is, twice yeah. a year. Yeah, twi yeah, exactly, twice a year. And like Seattle is kind of out there for a lot of people. This area of the country is not really known for theme parks. So you have like Silverwood, that's like five hours from here. Apparently there's uh, one place called Wild Waves. Wild Waves, which we checked. We were going <laughs> to visit on this trip and Timberhawk is not open, which Again. is funny because it wasn't open the first time I came to Seattle either. So that's zero for two, not doing great. Not great. Uh, but I'm excited. We're going to ride a, the better wind roller coaster in Washington, right? Yay. I'll tell you what though, we're here on a weekend. It is going to be busy. Tell them about your parking. This is unbelievable. If you're coming here, I cannot emphasize this enough, you should Uber or take public transit. The parking situation here is a nightmare. We arrived here over an hour ago and have been driving around trying to find parking because this area was not made for parking this many people. No. Um, it's like a neighborhood surrounding this. And so they have a bunch of lots, but like there's so many closed off roads, um, like do not enter here areas. Like it is so congested. Way more cars than this area was built to handle. I can barely see the midway. Like, where's the floor? There's so many people here. It's a popular event. And here it is, the line for Classic Coaster. And that's not even everything. It goes all the way down there. This is not good. This is really, really not good. Um, I, I have questions. This is referencing an old tunnel of love they had. Who's that? Is that Bigfoot? It looks like Grimace from McDonald's. So here's why the old mill's no longer here. There was a fire. Completely destroyed it and took out parts of the wooden roller coaster. They had to rebuild it. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that fair. That's what today looks That's like. That's what today looks like, yeah. So here's our coaster facts. So designed by John A. Miller. I love they call him the Thomas Edison of roller coasters. Uh, talks about the rebuild. Actually, several different rebuilds. Uh, height of 55 feet, angle descent 63 degrees, max speed 50 miles per hour. This train is called Old Yeller. They all have names. I think it's so cute. That is very old school. Right, so as we're about to get on, our timer that we had at the start of the line says we've been here for 40 minutes. I mean, it's a weekend. That was probably our mistake. And this is like the ride here. Yes, exactly. So. And the, the short swap right now is not open, so that's probably why. Yeah, here we go. Dispatching on this very classic roller coaster. No pun intended. Actually, a little pun intended. Wow. <laughs> I know, that is a very uh, clanky lift chill. I don't know how else to describe it. I like the sound of things actually. Gives you a nice view of all the surroundings. There's like so many rides here that we're looking at. And you can see mountains. I know. Oh, oh, here we go. All right. It's just one tiny lap bar here. That's, whoa. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's in like a locked position, so it can't go down and any lower. And there's a seatbelt, but it's about as loose as a seatbelt can be. It's a very loose seatbelt. And that's seat how belt. they put it. I don't know. I know, I know. Oh, 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 oh my. Terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my, god, my heart rate. Oh gosh, is so oh high. gosh. Woo, oh, okay. that, was, that was that was a bad, that was fine. Oh my god. Oh, my Sam here gave me a heart attack, dude. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay, those are fine. Yeah, yeah. It's if, just so cool. It might just be that one moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. The rest is cool though. <laughs> So the rest is fine. It's just the one terrifying moment at the turnaround. Woo, that was crazy. Holy crap. Oh my God. I had heard that there was crazy airtime on this thing, but that was like one of the most terrifying moments of airtime I think I've ever had. I'm like calming down. That like legitimately scared the heck out of me. It's, like 
And that's just a roller coaster in these days. I can't imagine like the average person like on that yeah. spot. Ooh, I'm right. really curious how the front is, because like the back had that one terrifying moment, then the rest was like, it was fine. I like, would argue the one right after was also kind of crazy. Yeah, 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 but the rest of the train is dropping while you're still clearing the turn, so you're yanked to the left and pulled down. That was so surprising. I it like, startled the heck out of me. Yeah, yeah, man. Ooh, that, dude, some of these classic woodies, they do that to you though. Like, I you don't expect it. I mentioned Rushaban and I was yeah. like, same idea, but that moment was more scary, I would say, than yeah. any of the moments on Rushaban. Like, that was Rushaban insane. has a lot more of it. So, like, overall, I would probably still take Rushaban in over this. Yes, but, yes. But, but that but one moment, that one singular that moment. I was like giving Zip and Pippin, like that scary moment of ejector. Oh, yeah, the ejector death hole, whatever but, they but call that, it. But that's scarier still. That might be the scariest airtime moment I've ever experienced. Oh, that was insane. I, yeah, that was scary. Uh, let's take a breather. Let's go do some other stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back. We'll try this in the front. This facade has no windows and no doors, which means you have to find a way out. Stop the line, and I'm that offers you this chilling challenge. Summarization. It do be hot in here. It do be. I would make it with my friends in the backyard. In fact, I did a haunted house with my friends in the backyard one year, and it was better than that one. That I, wins an award I, for the worst ghost train I've ever seen in my life. Like, what? I, I, can't, I can't believe people pay to do that. I feel bad that, like, no. That was, that was horrible. I don't often say, like, I could do a better job, but, like, I... I know I could build a better ride than that. Me and my and I'm not friend, an engineer. <laughs> my friend Jenny and I, growing up, we used to make exhibits. We called them exhibits in in our bedrooms, where we would like turn off all the lights and like like hide like stuffed animals and stuff everywhere to like make our own essentially a dark ride. They were better than that. And here's the biggest tragedy of the day: Wildcat is not open. They haven't sent a single vehicle around. Well, I'm thinking when it reopens, right? It'll come back with a vengeance. Maybe then they could rename it. <laughs> Wildcat's Revenge? I, I think. Wildcat, yeah. I say Wildcat's Revenge is taken Revenge already. Revenge of the Wildcat. Uh, but I'll tell you what, this thing is like pretty solid. It, it's cool that there's a classic Schwarzkopf Wildcat here because they are absolutely rare. Closed for service. There's not even anyone here. All is silent. I like the color. Yeah, it looks really nice. So this is the second like uh, permanent really coaster here. Violent. It's a it's violent. A violent turbulent roller coaster. Wrong Wildcat. They're it's describing. It's violent twice. They can't emphasize enough so, that it is a violent ride. Sudden stops and jerks. You know what? They're describing the Wildcat at Lake Compounds. They have the wrong description. Ugh. Wildcat only likes people in relationships. You can't be single on this ride. Well, if we can't ride the Schwarzka, we gotta do what we gotta do. Never mind. We're too big. <laughs> Rejected. It's okay. We're tall enough for all of the other big rides. We all need that. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're cool. We're too cool for that. <laughs> so, uh, do we even bother? Is it even worth it? Well, it's like the other one. Usually I'm like, yes, I love fair dark rides. I love, I don't, I don't even mind when they're like old and tacky and like kitschy, but this one has literally nothing in it. At least the one over there. So I don't, I don't know. God, those are like the old school ones that don't have the OTSRs. Like they're like, oh my. Okay, so the first time I ever, probably not the first time, but one of the first fairs I went to was up in like Pennsylvania. It was probably the state fair. They had one of these bad boys. And I started freaking out halfway through the ride because I thought I was gonna throw up. That's how I learned this kind of motion over and over again does not work with my tummy. I have a confession to make. I've never ridden a zipper. I know. I've never done one. Wow, that is a massive piece of corn. Is it good? Yo, you wanna play some bingo? Cause all these people do. According to the sign, Classic Coaster costs $15,000 to build. 
So basically, I could have bought my car, or most of my car, or this roller coaster in 1935. So, interesting fact about doing the front row on Classic Coaster, there's no seatbelt. Actually, there's no seatbelt in any, any of them. Except the back row. The back row's the only one that has a seatbelt. They acknowledge how messed up the air is back there. They're like, yep, that's why that one has a seatbelt. Oh, like, oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> that is crazy. Like, that how is many so scary. How many roller coasters can you think of that have, like, just a, a single restraint for all the rows except for one row? Like, I don't know, like it, I think of the it. only thing I can compare it to is when Cyclops at Mount Olympus had that 18 and up car for yeah. the very back, but then they reprofiled like the third drop or whichever one it is, and then that's no longer an issue. And, yeah. and then anyone can just ride in the back because it's not like the true back, it's now like the second of back. I'm like watching people go around, and like you can physically see like everyone else is fine, and in the back row, it just their whole being it looks like it's getting thrown like so far to the left it's insane yeah i th that thing is insane it is it is scary it but is in the front scary. it's nowhere near as bad like the front is like very mild like floater air yeah. over some of these hills but then the back much tamer in here again. yeah yeah the front row should be for like well you put your kids on right and then you thrill seekers the yeah you put them in the back and uh, you know, I, I will say earlier i said it's just that one moment i will also say the hill afterwards like see? I know, I agree with you. Yeah, the hill afterwards is good. And also the hill right before does have some uh, good moments as well. But it's just like that turnaround is behind that tent right there. But it's it's nuts. It's insane. If I'm acting a little bit weird or off today, uh, it's because I'm extremely sconed. <laughs> I know, weird. Uh, they do have some decent merch here. Uh, this is not one of them. That's literally Blue Fire, which is not here. Are you sure? I thought I saw it. You know, no, that's only in Germany. And actually, there's like 10 of them around the world. But these are kind of fun. Honestly, there's some good designs. Whoa. Oh my god, this is kind of windy. All right, this view of like a thing coming in your face I is know. like the scariest thing. That's a little freaky. Oh yeah. my gosh. We just make note of the fact that they started this before we even pulled our lab bar down. Yeah, they didn't check our restraint. They didn't check it. Ours was completely like up because we thought they were coming around and then they never did. Yeah, this is weird. This is a very weird sensation. It's a little nauseating. So you're walking by and look what is cycling. I'm so happy. I did not think this thing was gonna open while we're here. We were literally getting ready to go. We were like, all right, we've given up on it. Let's leave. And then it opened. Very, very exciting stuff. So I've never done one of these before. And I never really cared about the fact that I hadn't done one until they announced the thing with Premiere that they might like bring it back to life. And I'm like, well, yeah. hey, I never did it in his former life, so. Now I am. I don't know. I, I'm really curious if they uh, oh end up producing God. new versions of it. Wow. I think everyone in the fair, actually, I think everyone in the state of Washington decided to get in line for Wildcat. Front row, as is, we're gonna get a nice sunset view at the top of this thing. Did you notice that they just pushed us out of the station? I know, alright. Look at this. And as you can see, it uses a very different Schwarzkopf style track compared to what we're used to seeing. This one's a much more like portable format. It looks like the thing we did in um in Dallas. Yeah, a Prairie Screamer. Oh, oh, that is smooth. Oh boy. Look at that sunset. Well, it's not as scary as that one. <laughs> Woo! Very smooth. Very smooth. Definitely doesn't feel janky the like the others do. Short roller coasters are usually smooth. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh. These things hold up so well over time. Wow. Woo! This is so much better than like a wild mouth with a similar style. It doesn't have the terror that those do. <laughs> oh, yeah. that, that has some whip to it. <laughs> Whoa! Well, that's abrupt. <laughs> 
Oh, That's the sun's up, and the lap bar's up, and we, we're still and moving. <laughs> so what did you think of your first Schwarzkopf Wildcat? It, it was fun. It's really smooth. Yeah. Um, I thought it was going to be more out of control than it was. It's like a pretty tame experience. It is. I'll tell you what, big, it, it feels a lot more solid than a lot of these other, like, janky Pinfari roller coasters that you see at a lot of fairs. Like, this yeah. thing, actually, like, I know it's here year-round, but it, like, feels permanent. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Even though, like, upon first initial looks, it does look like it would be a janky experience, but it's not. No, it's really smooth and they like, take good care of fun. it. It's pretty much like it, it, it's basically a wild mouse without like the like crazy laterals. I liked it. Um, like I said, I was surprised that it wasn't more crazy. I usually when I think of short stuff, I'm like it's gonna be like yeah, Ugh, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It, this isn't what any of their looping models or anything. And honestly, this fair could totally have like a wild mouse, and I feel like it would feel different enough wild from mouse. Wildcat. <laughs> Put a wild mouse here. <laughs> Before we head out, we want to check out the back side of the fair and look what we found. Massive pumpkins. You think if I make a wish, it'll turn into a... A, a jack-o'-lantern? Or no, no. What is a it carriage? Called? Yes. Go to the ball? Yes. I don't know, but <laughs> this thing is awesome. So I want to make note of the fact of how cool this is. This actual area here is meant to be like pioneer kind of stuff. So they're teaching kids how to like whittle and saw and churn butter and sift flour and like, I don't even know, like, I'm like, why is this here? I love it. It's like perfect. I'm just so floored by this. The winning giant pumpkin 2015 set a record of 1,621 and a half pounds. That's unbelievable. On the side of this barn, they have this cool logo here. And look, there's like a painting or a stencil of a roller coaster and there's the SNS tower. That's so fun. Let's go see some animals. Hey guys! Hey! Hi! On a scale of one to this animal is the goat, how would you rate this goat? I'd say this animal's the goat. That is a big bunny. Hi, honey oh my bunny. gosh. Hello. Oh, he's so soft. Sebastian, you're here. What? Yes! No oh my god! Way. Sebastian! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Oh, fantastic. I just gotta be honest, I don't know what the big deal is. Get out. just discovered another roller coaster, but it's the same exact type as the one that we got turned down from, so I am willing to bet that we also are too big for this attraction. Are we gonna try it though? Yes, we are. You know what the guy said? Today, they changed the requirement to where adults can't ride. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, we just barely missed it. Whatever. It's all right, there's one more roller coaster here, and it's a wacky, wacky worm. worm. That is a mouse? I don't know, has he got a hat on? And we just rode the wacky worm, so that is three out of the five roller coasters here. So if you come here and you're an adult, note that you can't do the two smallest ones. It's okay, at least we got on the big, big kid ones that were really good, and a worm. Yeah, and uh, we had a very special cycle on this worm. What'd they do, Sarah? Yeah, they like push you out of the station. It's a little odd, they like, grab on it's like one guy on each side and they run and then um <laughs> literal mode, i guess literal boost mode yeah it's a it's interesting because it's a fair so you get a mixed group of employees you get people who are really peppy and they're really into it and classic coaster not, those folks yeah, they were awesome so fast peppy but they care and they're very like you know they take their job pretty seriously they get people who are like you can like they don't they do not they're there care for a all. job like it's yeah. just it's a job fine but like they didn't even check my restraint. They would check, like all, like pretty much every other row, and they just like did not check Taylor and I. Like, Better just check the kids than yes, the, the seasoned offer, wacky worm riders. Yes. So like I knew to pull my off bar down, but like, you, you what got, if you, you didn't? Have to, like you have to do that. That's part of the job. I know. Man. Check your check restraints, guys. Like it's like kind of a thing you need to do. If you want. And 
so our day at the Washington State Fair has come to an end. Honestly, we stayed here a lot longer than expected. Well, uh, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do here. Like, and we didn't even long. scratch the surface, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could easily come here, like, multiple times. Like, if you're a local, like, you could definitely come here just do a couple of rides, like come yeah. back another night. Like, it's, yeah. there's a lot. It, it can get expensive, I will say. I mean, I it's mean, it's a fair, so like, well, what, it's what do you expect? It's, well, the cost of living out here is very high. Yeah, so. it is. So yeah. put those two things together and yeah, there's a lot of overpriced stuff here. But I mean, it, it's fun. It's a very lively atmosphere. I would take the Washington State Fair over a lot of other fairs. I think part of the reason for that is because there is more sense of permanency here. Yeah, um, well, I think they leave it here and then they just open it back up, don't they? Some things, yeah. Some, some things? They okay. bring in a lot of other stuff, but, but some things they do leave. You know, there, there's not as much here in Washington as far as theme parks go. You know, it's this and Wild Waves. <laughs> I would definitely take this over Wild Waves. But I'm definitely glad we came. You know, this was like one of those weird, like, bucket list places because, you know, like, most carnivals we don't really bat an eye at. We're like, oh, it's a carnival. Like, all right, yeah, maybe we'll check it out. But it's like we're the not... fairs in Europe, I usually, I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I'm much more inclined to go to a fair overseas. Yeah. But um, at least here in the U.S., I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fair person, but this one was like, okay, like they got one roller coaster. We gotta check this out. That's fair. Um, and it is a fair. It is fair. Uh -huh. it, it's literally a fair. I'm Come sorry. out here to Washington. Come check it out. The fair runs for like I think a month almost uh, yeah. throughout September. So you know, uh, if you find yourself in the area, give it a shot. Let us know what you think, and hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.